All right, everybody, this is Axon99 back again with another Vein demo playthrough. So I am challenging my good buddy, Road85. I'll have the link down to his channel down below in the description. Well, yesterday we decided to challenge each other and try to see whose EPN was bigger by who could stay alive the longest in this demo. But after he lasted like five minutes, and after I lasted a little over eight minutes, well, then my lady friend, who doesn't even play nearly as many games as we do, came along and beat our ass by lasting nearly an hour. And the funny thing is, is she didn't even start with a good starting weapon as her profession. So she started with, like, binoculars and had to find a weapon. And she blew both of us away. So we're changing up the rules. We're no longer seeing who can last the longest because, let's be real, the longest really doesn't matter. It's about the motion that counts right it's the what the motion of the ocean as they say so this is all about the action now we're changing up the rules we can no longer enter any buildings or houses so you can't enter any buildings it's no longer who can last the longest but who can give us the most action the motion in the ocean if you would basically who can kill the most zombies so you obviously want to start with a good you know, starting profession, so you get a good weapon to start out with. I'm going to allow you to search zombies that you kill. You can search trash bags and, and things like that, as long as they're outside of a building. So if you want to search a car, if you find one, or a trash can, or a box, or whatever you find outside of a building, that's fine. If you want to bandage yourself, as long as you find the stuff to make a bandage, or, you know, you find a bandage in a trash can or whatever, by all means, bandage yourself up, heal up. The thing is, is you can no longer hide inside of a building and search a hundred different crates and stuff like that and craft stuff and all this kind of stuff like that. It's the motion of the ocean now. And really all we're looking for is who can kill the most zombies before they die. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this new challenge. I think this will be a lot more fun and speed things up a little bit and make a little bit more entertaining videos for you to watch as well, my viewers. So let's go ahead and get this new challenge started by kicking some ass and giving Rude Hopefully, something he can't be. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and say... I wrote basically made his name. He started this whole thing off yesterday by making a name called Fuck You Zaxer. I'm gonna make my name. I will kick your ass, Road. There we go. So that's my name. Again, I'm gonna be my typical dark skinned dude. Don't care about the looks. We're gonna go ahead and make agility because that's probably what's important here. Your ability to operate vehicles, tempting, but I don't think I'll find a vehicle. We're going to get some immunity here. Um, medical is tempting, but I think I'm going to take vitality and hope that I resist. Uh, hope that I resist <clears throat> getting injured. Okay, so let's go construction worker. I think I want to go back. Well, let's make things different. Not a game developer. Janitor's probably not going to have anything. Park ranger, police officer. Will a police officer start with a gun, I wonder? Probably not. Hmm. Unprepared? Hell no. Let's see. We want to make sure we start with something that has a weapon. Yeah, I'll just be a construction worker. I think this is what road was yesterday. I'm not sure. Hopefully we start with a uh, weapon. All right. Oh. Let me go into the settings real quick because I'm not getting great frames per second. Let me turn my shadow quality down to low. Reflection quality down to low. Uh... Shading quality, down to medium maybe. Let's try that. Turn some of the stuff down a little bit. There we go, 70 frames per second, just by turning shadows off, basically. Right, that helped a lot. OK, 
Okay. So again, we're not worried about time now. Make sure I have a weapon. Oh, I have an electric drill. That ain't gonna help. Fuck, man. Can we hold this and use it as a weapon? Maybe. A saw as a weapon? Well, we learned not to... Well, I, I mean, I don't know if I want to run away from these zombies, because I want to kill them ultimately, but three at once seems like a lot. And if I get deep wounds, I'm probably fucking dead. That's four zombies. Yeah, I'm not going that way. Fuck that. And I'm not going to try to sneak around or anything like that, because... What's the point of that shit? Again, I cannot enter any buildings. I can search shit outside of buildings. Still fucking lagging. Got scratches. Still. Oh, fuck. Now I got a deep wound. Oh, I fucking cut his arm off. That was cool. But I got a deep wound. God damn it. Oh, man. Well, we see that a saw is pretty cool as far as being able to dismember these motherfuckers. But with two zombies, only two zombies dead, this isn't going to be much of a... Look what the saw can do. I'm glad I took this fucking profession now. She hit me again, God damn it! Oh, I cut off her head! That's sweet. Three zombies. I just gotta take them out before I die. Fuck it. I mean, he could come back and beat me, maybe. But, at least we saw that you can dismember the zombies. That's four. Ow. That's five. My pain's up. I want to get at least, like, six or seven if I can. This guy's slow as fuck. I'm lagging when I fight. There's, I believe that's six. Can I make it seven? With a fucking saw? Cut his head off. Cut his fucking head off. There's seven. A oh, three at once. That would fuck me up probably. Let's go this way. Maybe I can search some trash or something like that and find a bit. I haven't. I didn't search the zombie. That's probably should have searched the fucking zombies I killed. Remember, I cannot enter a building, guys. That is against the rules I made. Cut her fucking head off. Need to kill some more before I die. There's eight. Give me a fucking bandage. Please give me a bandage. Oh, so I got eight. Eight is all I got the first time, but this is a learning process. I'm sure Road will beat that. We'll see. He'll probably take a profession with like a better weapon and kick my ass. But hey, we got to start somewhere, right? But I'm not, you know, I don't regret taking this profession and getting that saw because we saw some dismemberment I haven't seen yet. So guys, I'm looking really forward to this game. Uh, I think that this game is going to be uh, pretty damn fun. I hope that you know it's not laggy or it's not really buggy when they launch it. But I'm looking forward. To, but I'm looking forward to seeing this game when it launches with multiplayer. I think this game could be pretty damn good. We'll see how it turns out, though. Let me know what you guys think of what you're seeing down in the comments below. I would love to know. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Take care. Thank you.